Now, I know a big part of your business is bearing failure and analysis. What can you tell us about that? Bearing failure and analysis is one of the items that we're really trying to promote to particularly the pump compressor motor market. Bearings tell a story. Many times we have people come to us and say, well, I really thought that bearing was going to last a lot longer. While the fact is most bearings don't fail prematurely. When they do fail prematurely before that so-called bearing life that we expect, there are typically causes involved. These can be, whether it be electrical currents running through, bad atmosphere, uh, they can be heavy shock loads. Typically bearings should achieve their normal life. We have developed a program where we literally show people, if you hold the bearing, we show them pictures. If they show us a picture, we have them match them up with pictures, whether they be on the internets, our internet site, or in handouts we have, we can show people pretty accurately, well, if this is what the bearing looks like after it failed, here's why it probably failed, and here's how to correct it. This has become a very important part of our business. Okay, now let's take some more questions from our attendees. The first one says, what are the primary causes of premature failure in roller bearings? The primary causes are what we see, especially in motors, is when people have not mounted them properly. This is typically the largest cause. It's very important when mounting, especially a cylindrical roller bearing, that everything be, be mounted in a concentric way with the proper tools. We don't recommend hammers, and we do recommend induction heating of the elements so they can be slid onto the shaft, mounted in the housing properly. The other major causes would be improper lubrication, not understanding internal clearances, and in terms of the environment, not allowing environmental or ambient uh, factors affect the proper operation of the bearing. If the bearing isn't sealed properly, if elements, if uh, sand, dust, dirt, snow on traction motors, if they get into the bearing and the drive, then you're gonna have premature failure, typically. Okay, and here's the follow-up to that. It asks, are those the usual reasons for other bearing types, such as ball bearings or mounted units, to prematurely fail? Absolutely. There's no magic to the different styles of bearings, one versus another. If they're all subjected to the same incorrect mounting or lubrication or treatment, they all will have the potential to fail prematurely. All right, our next one. Are certain industries more prone to certain failures? It's not that certain industries are more prone to certain failures. It's just that people have to understand that the application dictates the life or the effective use of the bearing. As I said earlier, a good example would be a spherical roller bearing should not ex be expected to have the same life in a sand and gravel yard that has in a printing press. All right, next we have, can the operating environment hasten bearing failure? The operating environment is often critical to what people's anticipated expectations are for how long the bearing should last. In high heat situations, whether it be an asphalt plant or sand and gravel or in an oven, let's say even in food processing, it's critical that we adapt the style of bearing to that application. Typically this would be possibly using an oil fed uh, lubricating system, having larger internal clearances, having proper lubricants that might be more technical greases. But the operating environment is really critical as a factor in getting proper bearing life. 